Because everybody's looking at you. I know. We're not going to watch you. Okay. I was just about big enough to start playing with the broom to go about sweeping up and not even half doing it when Dr. Kilpatrick sold me. Mary Reynolds, a former Louisiana slave and U.S. citizen, wrote this in her speech, Her Days as a Slave. Mary Reynolds was born only days after Dr. Kilpatrick's daughter, Sarah. Growing up, they learned a lot together. After learning how to sweep, Mary was sold to another white family where she would start her job as a slave. However, Dr. Kilpatrick couldn't let it last long because Sarah was depressed and he had to go back and buy her. She would come back and start her job as a slave for Dr. Kilpatrick for the rest of her family. This is where she would work in the fields as a cotton picker. She would clean and do anything that Dr. Kilpatrick needed at the time. She worked for Dr. Kilpatrick for many years until he decided it was safe and Sarah was gone before he would take her to Dallas, Texas, where she would meet a new white family and work for them for seven full years. During working for the family in Dallas, she worked in the house. She only cooked and cleaned for this family. She, after the seven years, she went to another white family, also in Dallas, where she would work her last few days as a slave until she became blind. After becoming blind, she states that she couldn't even go in or outside because she was no longer physically able to do anything. She states, I sit and remembers the times in the world. This is where she would decide to write her speech her days as a slave. In her speech, she informs her audience of all the tragic events that a black person would go through during the days of slavery. She talks about the long hot days and the long cold ones where she would work in the field. She also speaks of the times that her slave driver would beat her. She states, he beat me. He beat me worse than I have ever been beat before and I faint dead. Right before this statement, she talks in detail of how he wrapped ropes around her arm and her ankles just enough to tie her up and beat her. This is only one of the tragic events that Mary Reynolds speaks of during her speech. <clears throat> she uses chronological order, stating from the day that her father joined the farm and fell in love with her mother, all the way to the last few days in Dallas where she was a slave. She uses so much emotion and just shows her hurt and her pain of all the things that she went through as a black woman during the years of slavery. The main message is just to inform her audience. However, there's also a message of family. Not only did her family get split apart at a very young age, all six sisters split to different white families just to go and work for other people whom they had never met before they were sold to. She also states that her father, who was not even born a slave, come to the farm and fell in love with her mom and gave his life and independence up just to be with someone he loved and work as a slave for some white man whom he had never met before. The language that Reynolds used is of an uneducated, uneducated Louisiana black woman. She speaks with missing syllables and words that we've never heard before because to us they're not even words. I feel this gives the speech personality because not only do we speak educated and very proper, but she speaks uneducated and unique to somebody like us. As a listener, this speech just shows me how important and how truly blessed we are to be able to have the independence that we have in the world today. We don't buy and sell people. We have the rights to our own bodies. We can work how we want to and not have to work for people who just give other people money just for us to work for them and do things that they could do on their own. We no longer have all the rights over people just because of their race. We can do what we want to. We can stay with our family. And it just shows the cruelty that the people had back in the day and how cruel slave drivers and white people were just to the way of the mix of the other races. Mary Reynolds <laughs> is, succeeds in her, 
in her message of just showing us how important and how tragic the life of a slave was. Four minutes and